Hey everybody, Eric here from the MMG. I'm gonna show you how to set up a V Rising dedicated server, the Gloomrot DLC, the free expansion from Stunlock Studios for V Rising has hit, and it is hot. This game is fantastic. All right, let's get into it. All right, so if you've never installed or used Steam CMD, just need to Google it. Steam CMD, it's gonna be this top one here from developer.valvesoftware.com click on that and there's different versions there is a Windows and a Linux we're going to be doing the Windows today I'm going to take you here and give you a bunch of commands that you can use you actually want to click on this link right here to download it and then once you get it downloaded which I've already done um, you just need to extract it I always recommend you put it on your desktop like I've done here or I put it directly in my C drive I mean I made a Steam CMD folder and then just when you uh, unzip it, you'll see this file right here. All you need to do is run it, and then it's going to actually download and update, and it'll start filling up your folder here. Uh, you won't have as many files as I have because I've added some, but you start seeing stuff populate. Then once you get this bar, get the Steam drop, you need to type in login space anonymous. Hit enter. And it's logging in for you. Most games will let you download a server by doing anonymous. Some games will actually make you log into your Steam account if you need to have ownership. Uh, just as a heads up, but that's what we do. So once you get to the Steam prompt like this, now we're going to type in app underscore. Oh, it didn't work. App underscore update space. And then the ID of the V Rising dedicated server is 1829350. You're going to hit enter, and you're going to see it's going to actually start to download the server files. And I think if I remember correctly, it was like one and a half gigs or two gigs or something like that. So it may take a little bit depending on your connection speed to download. Once it's done, you'll see successful app, and it'll have the ID there fully installed. Now you can actually exit this, so just type in exit. That procedure that we just did right there is exactly how you'll update the server as well. So whenever V Rising releases an update, just do those steps right there. And instead of reinstalling completely, it'll just download the updated files. All right, now you should have a folder called Steam Apps. We're gonna go into it. Have a common folder, we're gonna go into it next. And here should be your dedicated server files. You can see I've done this on several games. We're looking for the V Rising dedicated server right here. And here are your files for this game. There is a README file, and it gives you instructions on how to set up a dedicated server. Definitely check those out. As you can see, it gives you lots of really, really good instructions. All right, so here they actually made a start server example.bat. We're gonna go into it and edit it. You can do it with, do it with Notepad. I like Notepad++. And then here is your example. This actually, there's a dedicated server for you and it does some parameters here persistent data path and the save location here uh, you can change it if you want and then here's where you actually name your server so I'm gonna name mine the MMG save name wherever you want the save name to be and then the actual log files go in there there are some more parameters you can set if you want all right, so now we're gonna look at some of the other settings that I mentioned earlier. So you need to go into your V Rising server data folder, your streaming assets folder, settings folder. You're gonna see server game settings and server host settings. The game settings are where you can set your different parameters for the server itself, like health and different kind of damage variants, stuff like that. So you can get that all set up. And the server host settings is where you can edit more of the server settings itself. So in here is where you can set your name of your server, the description, the port, whatever port you choose. You just have to have open on your firewall and your router. Otherwise, people will not be able to connect to your server. It won't show up in the server browser. So you got to have those open. Every router is done a little differently, so I don't go over that. But the Windows firewall, I have a video on my channel on how to do that. So if you need help with that, make sure you search my channel and you'll find that video and it can walk you through that. Uh, for your router, I suggest you just Google it, how to forward or open ports, and you should be able to find a guide for that particular router on how to do it. 
You can also set your password in this file here and a couple other settings. So once, you're, once you get everything set, you need to hit File, Save, save that document. And the other two documents in here are your admin list and your ban list if you want to ban someone or make someone an admin. Now, now that you have all your settings set, I think we're ready to launch the server itself. So to do that, we're going to go back to the main vRising dedicated server file, and then we're going to run the server, the start server example.bad that we edited earlier. And this is going to actually start your server up itself. And you can see our server is now running. And to shut it down, you just need to click on the window and hit Control C. If you're not sure if it's running or not, which if you see this, it, it is, but you can go check in your task manager here under the Windows command processor you should see a V rising process and that is running so the server is up and then when you're ready to shut it down you just click in this window and you hit control C just like it tells you um, do be patient sometimes it can take a little bit to properly shut down a server um, so once you get to this do you want to terminate this batch job hit yes hit enter and it should shut it down now if you go back to your task manager and look you should see the processes are gone so it's not running anymore all right we're going to start the server back up here and I'm going to show you how to join it. All right, now we're ready to join our server. So just load up the game on your gaming PC and you want to hit play, online play. You're going to hit find servers down here. Then here's the server browser. You want to, you can either do a couple things. You can do direct connect. If you know the IP and the port, you can connect that way. Uh, I would recommend using the browser though. So you want to hit display all servers and settings up top here and then type in the name. Make sure you, if you're not sure on these boxes, um, if it's got a password or whatever, it all, if it's only dedicated, make sure you uncheck all these. Um, that way, you know, you're not getting blocked out that way. Because the name search type should be the easiest thing to find there. I typed in for sure. Um, there's our servers. Uh, we should only have one up. I'm not sure why there's two. That might be a, a glitch or something, or it might be from when I restarted the server. Um, but anyways, once you connect to the server, you can see the details of it if you want and look at the, all the settings, which is kind of cool. And then if there's a password, you need to punch in the password here to join, and then this join button. And so once you got it, you server select and you're ready to join it, you're gonna load in like this, and you should start at the character creator screen, unless you already have your character, obviously, and then you'll log right in. All right, that wraps it up for V Rising: how to make your own private dedicated server or public dedicated server, however you wanna set it up. Hopefully this video helped you. If you would, please help me out and support us on Patreon. It's We have a dollar tier and it helps us out greatly. It allows us to keep making these videos and uh, you know, it's really greatly appreciated support. Um, if you can't support us on Patreon, please at least subscribe to our channel. That helps us out a lot too. And yeah, we appreciate it. So thanks for watching and have yourself a great day.